from the Family Islands, a sustainable destination providing economic stimulation for Bahamian residents. That's what Disney Cruise Lines hopes to propose on its new published Lighthouse Point Bahamas website. But as Antoine Smith tells us tonight, some persons don't agree. They can give us more than 150 jobs. Opposing views as a crowd, many of them a Luther resident, found their way to a panel event Monday evening to discuss the most controversial Lighthouse Point project. We paid the national Many of those residents are proponents of Disney's multi-million dollar plan that's set to develop the southern end of Eleuthera into a cruise port, specifying the 150 jobs it's said to bring to the economically deprived part of the island as a reason for their support. I mean, like Disney, who's spending some $400 million in that area, we welcome that opportunity for our people. Our people need work. Our children are coming to school every year and they have to leave Eleuthera go elsewhere, and this is an opportunity for them right there. Just as the project has a Lutheran supporters, it has its fair share of opposers, who argue that the cruise port will not provide long-term sustainability for the island. Wems's Bite resident and Disney after Dorian panelist Danielle Gibson says, the opposition is not a matter of where Disney develops, but rather how it plans to develop. If you build in a sustainable way, in a more sustainable way, that's not a pier, that will not destroy our coral reefs and our marine habitats, that we can get more jobs. And not only are we looking at more jobs, but we're looking at the sustainability of our natural environment for those people that fish, for those people that farm. According to Disney's newly launched website on Lighthouse Point, low-density construction and development will affect less than 20% of the property, while the website gives no mention to circumventing the existing coral reef just offshore, other residents say Disney's transparency with Southern communities proves its track record. They've held meetings. Maybe some of the residents who are concerned should attend some of these meetings so that they can understand that a, a, a company like Disney, we know, you know, if you know the history of Disney, they are not going to just come in and destroy. They offer um, the environment. and. The Disney Corporation is awaiting government approval of an environmental impact assessment before pushing ahead with construction. However, environmentalists and opposers say, in the wake of Dorian, the government has to give a deeper consideration to the negative impact this development just may bring. Antoine Smith, ZNS Network News.